that is the key. There's a reason why the book Think and Grow Rich has been so popular for 90 plus years and why it's one of the number one books that's been read is because it works. Welcome, today we're gonna to be talking about the six steps that you need to follow in order to hit any goal that you want to and this is written in the amazing book, my favorite book, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. So let's dive in. There's six steps, and if you have a pen and paper, I would definitely jot these down. The six steps to hitting any goal that you want to is this. Number one is to fix your mind on the exact amount of money that you want or whatever it is that you want. So fixate your mind on it. So number one is to figure out exactly what it is that you want. Fixate your mind on it. Make it become an obsession of something that you have to get, that you want to get, that you will work towards getting. So that's number one. Number two is to determine exactly what you're willing to give in exchange for what you desire. Exactly what you're willing to give in exchange for what you desire. So if your goal is to, let's just use the number one, let's say you fixate your mind on wanting to make $100,000 this year. Well, in order to make $100,000 this year, you're going to have to make legitimate changes in your life in order to make that $100,000 this year. Now, that being said, with those changes means you're going to have to give up certain things. Maybe that's watching TV. Maybe that's going out. Maybe if you play an extracurricular sport, it might be stop, you know, you can't play flag football on the weekends or whatever it might be, or you might get, get a little bit less time with your family in order to build what you're building to maybe later on down the road have more time with them. So number one is to fixate your mind, figure out exactly what it is that you want and become extremely clear, write it down. Figure out what it is that you want. Number two is to figure out exactly what you're willing to give up. What you're willing to give up. It's a balance. In order to get more of something, you have to get less of something. In order to make more money, you have to get less time going out and partying with your friends or whatever it might be. So that's number two is to determine exactly what you're willing to give in exchange for the money you desire. Number three, this is a big thing that a lot of people do not do. Establish a definite date that you will have what you desire. That you will, the definite date of you will have. Not I want it in six months, or I want it by the end of the year. But by December, an example of that would be by December 31st, 2017, I will have made $100,000 for this calendar year. Right? That would be an example of an exact date, a definite date that you will have this goal hit by. Number four is to create a definite plan. Notice these words, definite plans. Not kind of a plan or I think I might do this or this would be a good idea. A definite plan for carrying out your desire and begin at once whether you feel ready or not. Let me say that again. Begin at once whether you feel ready or not because here's the deal. You're never, you will never feel ready. You can give a million excuses as to why you're not ready to do what you want to do yet. But that doesn't matter. You need to go anyways and you need to get it done anyways. That's the thing that you have to realize. So create a definite plan. Number four, create a definite plan for carrying out your desire. If you're going to make $100,000 this year, you need to make a plan. How many sales do you have to have? How many new customers do you have to bring in? How many more people do you have to bring onto your team? How many people do you have to hire in order to do so? Create a definite plan for doing so and begin right now. Not tomorrow, not next week, not next month, not just waiting. Create a plan and start right now. No excuses. Number five, and this is extremely important, most people don't even know this. Write out a clear and concise statement of the money that you want to, that you intend to inquire, or whatever it is that you intend to acquire. Include the time limit for its acquisition. Include the time, whatever date you're gonna get it by. State what you intend to give in return, and clearly describe the plan through which you intend to accumulate it. This should be no more than one to two paragraphs. This should be no more than one to two paragraphs. So an example of what this would be is now that you've figured out what you want, now that you've figured out what you're willing to give up, 
and you figured out the date that you're gonna get it by, and you figured out the plan, you need to write a mission statement, one to two paragraphs, of exactly what it is. So it could be something along the lines of this. I will make $100,000 this year by December 31st, 2017. I will give up my flag football games. I will not go out and party with my friends as much. I'll only allow myself to do it once a month instead of once or twice a week. I will have it by December 31st, like I said, and I will, in order to do it, need to make 50 phone calls a day in order to acquire five more customers a week, which will in turn give me $100,000. So that's an example of, you know, if I'm just giving an example of this was what yours was and maybe you were in sales and that's what the numbers worked out to be. So you figure out the exact plan to do it and you put that on there. So let me say it again one more time. Number five is write out a clear and concise statement of the amount of money that you want or whatever it is that you're working towards include the time limit for its acquisition. That means when you're going to get it by. State what you intend to give in return, what you're giving up in order to get that money, and describe the clear plan for which you intend to accumulate it. Because most people, there's not a clear plan. You need a clear plan that you can follow to a T, and if you do that, just knowing it, you will hit your goal. And number six, this is key, key, key. Read your written statement out loud two times a day at least, just before bed and right after you wake up. Read your written statement out loud, not in your head, out loud to yourself, twice daily, just before you go to bed and just after rising. The reason why that's important is because that is when you're subconscious, you, have, you don't have all of the crap running through your head, you don't have all of the day-to-day -day things, and that's when you can access your subconscious mind quicker and put this into your subconscious mind. So you could say, I'm going to make $100,000 by December 31st, 2017. I'm going to give up free time, I'm going to give up two weekends per month, and I'm going to give up going out and drinking with my friends on the weekends. I'm also going to give up the, the football games that I play on Saturday. And uh, my plan to do that is to make 50 cold calls every single day, which would mean I am acquiring five new customers, which by the end of the, five new, new customers per month, which means by the end of the year, I will have made $100,000. That is what you read to yourself every single morning and every single night. And if you read it to yourself and you don't forget, you do it every single day, you'll start to bombard this with your subconscious all the time. Read it at least twice, just mornings and nights. But if you could do it more, I would do it more. Put it on your phone, read it to yourself at lunchtime, every single hour, put a notification in your phone so you can get it. But that's the six things that you have to do. Let me go through them one more time for you. Number one, you fix your mind on the exact amount of money that you want or whatever it is that you do want. Number two, you determine exactly what you're willing to give up in exchange for that money or whatever it is that you want. Number three, you're going to establish a definite date that you will 100% have that money by, or whatever it is that you want. Number four, you're going to create a plan, a definite plan for carrying out your desire and begin at once, begin right now, don't wait, because there'll never be a perfect moment. Number five is to write a clear and concise statement, one to two paragraphs short, about the amount of money or whatever it is that you tend to inquire, acquire. Include the time limit for its acquisition, when you're gonna get it by, state what you intend to give in return, and describe that plan clearly on what you plan to do to accumulate it. And number six, read it to yourself two times per day. That is the key. There's a reason why the book Think and Grow Rich has been so popular for 90 plus years and why it's one of the number one books that's been read is because it works. This guy studied some of the most successful people who have ever lived he took all of the, the different things they did, put it into a book, and that's where you get Think and Grow Rich from. So follow those six steps and watch your year be better than it ever has been.